All right, so everybody is concerned and the big question is why Indians and why now? That's something which is hounding Indian students both in India and Australia. The widespread fear of recession and job loss has shaken the Australian man to the streets. Is this how white Australia is reacting to the crisis? Are they afraid that they are losing territory to hard-working, efficient Indians? We have a report. Recession looming large worsening unemployment, big manufacturing sector, slumping business investment, falling commodity price index. The picture down under is not exactly rosy. Australia is going through one of its worst ever financial crises. Kevin Rudd's government is all set to announce the onset of recession this week. People are losing jobs and the wave of hate crimes against Indians may be a direct fallout of the average Australian's economic blues. Hard-working Indians are set to clock more hours of work and are generally assumed to be more capable in their areas of expertise. There is a feeling on Australian streets that Indians are eating into Australian jobs. To have uh, groups of young men, uh, sometimes early 20s, sometimes younger, who see Indians as groups of um, Another group of young men and women who are largely portrayed as people who are part of the outsourcing trend, people who may take away their job. Australia's international student sector is the country's third largest export earner behind coal and iron ore, totaling 10 billion US dollars in 2007-2008. Indians contribute in a big way to this. If the hate wave continues unabated, this captive earning faces a bleak future. Students will simply switch to other destinations. There were two or three students who were uh, planning to go to Monash University in Australia and they said instead of Australia, we'll go to Ireland. I speak on behalf of all Australians when I say that we deplore and condemn these tax. Australian Prime these Minister Kevin Rudd is not violence. amused. He understands the implications of the loss and that's what he told his Indian counterpart Manmohan Singh. I said to Prime Minister Singh that the more than 90,000 Indian students in Australia are welcome guests in our country. I also said that the more than 200,000 Australians of Indian descent are welcome members of the Australian family. Rudd also called the recent acts of violence deplorable. He referred to Australia as a country of great diversity, harmony and tolerance. But that's all political talk. Just saying sorry doesn't justify the high-handed action of the Australian police. Why are Indians being attacked? While theories are coming in thick and fast, there is no way to deny that there is an undercurrent of racial discrimination in all those cases. And while the Australian government is giving assurances, it is not enough. Still, those assurances are not translated into concrete action. This is Shaka Talreta in New Delhi, Keita Mohan for Headlines today.